Today I'm going to do the new NBA mock draft for the whole NBA lottery. So up to 14. So let's do it. First, San Antonio Spurs, of course. They're going to be getting Victor Wimanyama. He's a generational talent. Victor is going to be definitely the first pick. Second, we got the Hornets. I am going to pick... Brandon Miller is going to go to the Hornets because of his... um. He has better fit with LaMelo Ball. Scoot and LaMelo are point guard. We don't know how, if two point guards can coexist. I don't know. I think rumors saying that Miller going to the Hornets is what the Hornets want as well. But Scoot... And some point guard, point guard duels have not worked in the past, so I believe the Hornets will go number with Brandon Miller at number two. And number three, we got the Blazers who will go with Scoot Henderson. Now, they might trade this pick, so Scoot might be available for trade, which is insane. It's gonna be a big bag for whoever gets whoever gets Scoot. For to build around Damian Lillard, unless the Blazers want to keep Scoot and trade Dame, which is another possibility. So Scoot, I believe, will go three. And number four, I believe, the Houston Rockets will go with Amon Thompson. He's a pretty good uh, point guard. He, I mean, right now the. Houston Rockets need a point guard unless Harden comes, but Harden isn't going to stay long, so Thompson can be the point guard of their future. He's a tall point guard, too. He has really good passing. He has His defense is good, too, so the Rockets could use a player like him. Next, at number five, I had the Detroit Pistons taking Cam Whitmore um, because he's a really athletic forward. The Pistons kind of need a forward as they're starting for Bogdanovich is pretty old. He will probably leave the Pistons soon, so the Pistons getting Whitmore will be a pretty good fit along with Cade, Ivy, and like Jalen Duran. And Pistons, they're kind of looking pretty good for their young core. And I have to say that the fourth and fifth pick might be traded as well. And number six, I have I have the Orlando Magic taking Jairus Walker, power forward. Now, there's not a lot of really good players, um, but I mean, the Magic kind of do need a guard, so that's why they were among the teams that are interested in trading up for the third pick for Scoot. So they maybe can take a reach and get for Anthony Black or Asar Thompson. Maybe go number six to the uh, Magic. But yeah, I'm actually going to think Asar Thompson might go there because he's more of a guard. And right now the Magic are set at forward with Paolo, Wendell Carter, some other players. So I believe Asar will go there. And that's number seven. Really good fit the end of Indiana Pacers to like Jarris Walker because they kind of do need a forward right now. They already are set with um, Halliburton and Buddy Heald is pretty good right now at guard. They're pretty good at guard right now, so Cam Whitmore goes number seven. Number eight, the Washington Wizards select Anthony Black because they really do need a point guard, Anthony Black or guard. Anthony Black is a pretty good guard who could help Beal off the backcourt. Their guard play is not really that good, the Wizards, and they could use Anthony Black as a really good defender as well. And he's a solid playmaker, pretty tall for a point guard as well. Number nine, the Utah Jazz select Kaysom Wallace out of Kentucky. He's another really good defender, and the Jazz also kind of need to get a point guard. They're set with like Larry Markin and Walker Kessler, but they could use like a point to help facilitate with them since Mike Conley also 
got traded so they could use a point guard. And number 10, I have the Mavericks selecting Taylor Hendricks because he's a really good player up for the Ma uh, Mavericks. I mean, not Magic, Mavericks. He's a really good player that could be a player that can impact the Magic Mavericks instantly. The Mavericks really want to compete. They have Luka. They will probably resign Kyrie. And Hendricks could help their front court as their front court is kind of bad right now. Dwight Powell and Maxi Kleber are decent, but like they don't really have that many other players. So Hendricks can be a really good contributor to the Mavericks uh, competing. Number 11, I have the Orlando Magic selecting Grady Dick from Kansas. I mean, he's a shooter, so the Magic can use him. The Magic... I feel like they're trying to compete now. Grady can help them really good for their shooting. And number 12, for the Oklahoma City Thunders, I have them selecting Jordan Hawkins from Connecticut, the NCAA champion. He's a bucket. He can score really well. And that's what the um, OKC Thunder need. They can use like a bench plug spark who could help them score they're trying to compete and Hawkins is one of the more older players so he can help off the bench or like do anything for them at number 13 for the Toronto Raptors I have them selecting Keontae George out of Baylor because Gary Trent Jr. might be leaving soon they, they might be Starting a rebuild and George is a really good project. He can shoot pretty decently and I mean he's a pretty decent player. George can help the Raptors a lot as the Raptors do kind of need depth as well as players like Gary Trent Jr. and Frederick and Fleet being free agents and they might leave. But last but not least, at number 14. Um, I have the New Orleans Pelicans selecting Nick Smith. Maybe they could select uh, Jalen Hood's Vino, but I have them selecting Nick Smith because, I mean, their point guard is kind of a whole, like, Jose Alvarado is pretty good, but they could use, like, a bench player at least. And Nick Smith could help them. He could score. And although his defense is not too good. They have like Herbert Jones playing with him. And Nick Smith is not that short. He's a 6'5 point guard, which could help them a lot with his size. And the Pelicans, I mean, CJ McCollum is probably not going to be a point guard. So they have Jose Arado and him will be a pretty good fit. But yeah, that's basically it for my mic draft. Sorry for the delay, like a 20 second, maybe a 20 second, uh, Stop at the first 20 seconds. I didn't say anything. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. We're out.